Frank Gonzalez from Cinemark Theaters with Piper Paravo from the new movie Angel Has Fallen. Piper, thanks for the time. Thanks for being here. Um, you, you're jumping into this this franchise uh, as Leah Banning, Mike's wife, the wife of uh, your acting partner, I guess, is uh, Gerard Butler. Yeah. Um, how much fun was it to jump into this to an action movie, even though you don't really have a whole lot of action uh, in your in your scenes? It was really fun. I had seen the previous two films, and so I really liked this world and Mike Banning and what he's about. And when I heard Rick Romanois was going to direct the third one. I was interested to see what a director who's done a documentary about PTSD could bring to a huge action franchise. And obviously Rick is really good at action, but he also has this empathetic nature to service members that I think is a really modern combination. Um, so working with, with, with Gerard, how was that for you as an actress to be able to kind of develop a camaraderie with him? He's a really fun person to act with. Um, he's really serious and he knows the franchise well, obviously, and he's really good at action, obviously. But he's also just sort of a good-natured, nice person. And in the sort of crazy world of movies, it's nice to be around people that like to be at work. Nick Nolte, you get the chance to act with him. Now yeah. that that's a titan. I was really nervous. I'm a fan of his, and so the first day we worked together, I was pretty nervous, but I don't know if you've interviewed him yet, but he's really like a grounded, normal guy. I don't know, it was pretty great. Now, one of the things I guess that was probably the most challenging for you is having to work with a child. And in this case, you're working with a crying child. <laughs> what kind of challenges does that, does that bring? I would say like, for me, I mean, it, I wasn't intimidated, except that she was gonna maybe steal the scene out from under me. But what was funny was, one of the scenes that I have with Nick, she's crying her head off, Aunt Maisie, and um, and I could tell that Nick was afraid, which was so funny because Nick Nolte is so tough and cool, and like I would want him in any bar fight. But as soon as the baby was crying, he was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> I think it's so cool that somebody that tough, you think you could never frighten him, but you give him like one little girl who's upset, and he really wanted to just stop everything and make sure she was okay. You've done so many different things over your career from, um, you know, television and movies and things like that. When you step onto the, the set of a movie like, like Angel Has Fallen, what kind of things do you still learn as you're, as you're going through the process? You know, actors have a lot of different ways that they come in a role. And I always learn a lot by watching people's process. Even when I first started, I would go to set on days when I wasn't working, because I just like to see how actors come at a part and come at a scene. It was the same, I mean, it's, to watch Morgan Freeman do a scene, you learn a lot. What, what are some of the things that he does? He has a sort of um, regal bearing, and also his voice is so warm and deep that he can move slower in a scene because he's so powerful. And so when you watch him block a scene, he's in no rush, and he commands this kind of gravitas by sort of the center note of his voice. It's interesting to watch him block a scene. Do you, did you find the same thing with Nick Nolte, or he has his own way about it? No, Nick is like sort of, um, he's very in the moment. He's almost sort of shimmering, and you don't quite know what's going to happen, but I think that allows for a certain level of, of violence in his work, because you're unprepared for what could happen next. Well, it sounds like you had a great time making the movie. I did. I know Cinemark customers will have a great time watching it on August the 23rd. Thanks, Piper. Thanks so much.